Hi, what's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can easily wire your speakers over your attic and into your walls so you have a nice clean finish. I currently have a 5.1 Calypse system mated to an Onkyo receiver and I decided to hide the wires just for the rear um, Adobe Atmos or surround sound speakers. I believe it is a Calypse RP-500SA. If you'd like to check out my whole setup, I'll leave the link down in the description below for all my different speakers I have in this living room. So here's my 16 gauge hidden speaker wire. I bought two sets of 100 feet to run to each speaker in the back. And you can see here it looks a lot cleaner than having wires hanging down or running it along the carpet or along the baseboard. So um, if you spend a little time, take some measurements and just have a little patience, you can have a nice clean finish just like this. So the two things that really helped me to get this install done and hide the speaker wires behind the walls and over the attic was using this 15 foot steel fish tape. Um, this is actually really great to use for trying to feed wires underneath the carpet or even down walls or over the ceiling. Now you can either push the wire over or you can tie the wire to the steel tape and you can just pull it towards you. So it's really a nice guide to be able to force the wire wherever you can't reach into. And I'll show you here in a moment. I was in a tight situation where I can actually get in that area. So I actually fed the wire over and pulled it over into an opening. The second thing that really made this installation a breeze was using some bright glow sticks. I bought these at Dollar Tree. I think it came in a pack of five. All you have to do is just break them and then it releases the chemical to make it nice and bright. I drilled some pilot holes into the wall, into the ceiling so that I could stick these glow sticks right through to where I can see them when I'm in the dark attic. I used a total of three glow sticks. I used this one you see above the TV in the front, and I used two in the back, one for the left and the right rear. It's also a good idea to identify all your studs in the wall so it makes it easier not having to go over those obstacles. Now that I know exactly where I want my speakers to be at and I have all the glow sticks all situated, it's time to go up in the attic. And before I went up in the attic, I actually brought a few things with a little toolbox. I had some LED lights, um, also a headlamp to put on my head because um, it's very dark up there, especially up in the corner. I brought my 20 volt Dewalt power drill just in case I had to drill any pilot holes. And I also brought along my two speaker wires that are 16 gauge, both 100 feet long. So here's what it looked like after I fed the wire all the way across from the rear part of the room all the way back towards the TV area. So as you can see there, the glow stick really does work. It's easy to find out exactly where you drilled the pilot holes so you can feed the wire through there. Here's a closer view of the wall where the glow stick went through and here's a closer view of the ceiling part of where the glow stick went through. So you can choose to either drop your wire down through the ceiling or through the wall side. I was lucky and I was able to feed it down right beneath that wood and in between the drywall so I could feed it straight down. Next you can choose where you want the speaker wire to come out of. So you can either do it through the wall or through the ceiling. This demonstration will be just for the ceiling part. So the first thing I did was to feed the steel fish tape through the ceiling and then I went up in the attic and tied off the speaker wire to the tip and then I pulled it through the hole and down to where I can reach it. At first I thought I would like the setup where I had the speaker wire coming from the ceiling and going directly to the speaker but I actually redid it again and put the speaker wire through the wall instead. So what I had to do to accomplish that was use the same technique as I did with the ceiling and stick that steel fish tape through the wall and then pop it up through the attic and then tie off the speaker wire and pull it through the hole. After that there was just a need for a little cosmetic makeover and I just used some caulking and some matched paint to fix the ceiling holes and the extra holes I had to make into the wall. For the TV side where both wires would actually eventually meet up so I can feed it down into the receiver, I actually used some wire and put it down to where I could see where the wire would naturally fall at, marked it off with some tape, and then I drew a circle where I could put this little adapter and cut a hole with a drywall saw so I can fit the wires down into that opening. After that I just used some caulking for the ceiling and some all-purpose plaster to plug the hole into the wall 
and then I used some match paint to touch up everything. So I even painted that little opening there for the adapter. I painted that the same color as the wall, that sky blue, and everything looks nice and clean now. You can see how everything is seamless. Here's the finished product here. Here's a quick look at how I have everything wired up. I decided not to go with the banana plugs because it would make it stick out too far from the top and I wanted to go with the best clean finish so I basically just stripped the wires, put them on the negative and positive terminals and then screwed them down so you can't see the wires at all. I just want to show you what's going on back here where the TV and receiver is at. So I have that black um, cover which is a furniture hole cover that's two and a half inches. Usually it's black but I painted it to match the color of the wall and that's where those left and right speaker wires feed into over the attic and I have it plugged into the receiver and it's connected to the surround sound right now. I'm going to test that out and see how it goes and then next week I'll plug it into the back or height speaker selection and see how that sounds. But here are the banana plugs that I was talking about before um, where it wouldn't work connecting directly to the speakers because it's going to be too bulky. Okay, now it's time for a demonstration video for the sound. I'm going to go ahead and connect my uh, receiver over to my laptop. Um, reason being is I want to be able to capture the sound from the speakers up there and still give you some video footage as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click play on this. And... <laughs>
awesome system and lived in this home. I actually lived in an apartment, so I had to have a smaller system that would be too loud. So I had an LG soundbar, later on upgraded to a Sonos soundbar, which I highly recommend. But it doesn't give you that same deep thump as you would get um, through these clip system uh, speakers here. But I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to wire your uh, speakers behind the walls and hide them using some steel fish tape and glow sticks to assist in creating some bright landmarks for you in the dark attic. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you for watching.